Good evening, one and all. We gather here on this day to discuss yet another crisis forced upon us by King George III. Hi, hi. Out in Boston Harbor, there are three ships, the Eleanor, the Dartmouth, and the Beaver, and their bellies are swollen with 340 chests of tea. We had a reenactment, probably the first time in history that it's been held right here on Four Point Channel, uh, on the original site of the Boston Tea Party. My friends, King George and Lord North would make us subjects of a greedy monarchy. The tool they would use to deprive us is here at Water's Edge. Then all of a sudden, uh, Mr. Roach came in, Captain Roach on his horse. He was the man who owned the Brig Beaver and the Brig Eleanor. He came riding in on a horse to tell us that they would not allow him to leave the harbor. They would actually blow his ship up if he was to leave the harbor. And tomorrow, the next day, was the final day he had to unload the tea. And Samuel Adams, who spoke here tonight, right on the wharf, announced there is nothing more that this meeting can do to save the country, which was the prearranged signal for the Mohawks to go to the ships and throw the tea into the sea to make Boston Harbor a teapot tonight, this harbor that we're standing on right now. This day would not have happened without the cooperation of the mayor, first of all. I mean, he's the one that kept us pushing forward to get it done because he said to us, Sean, if, if, you, if your company, Historic Toys of America, doesn't do this, who's going to do it? And to Jim Rooney at the MCCA, he really was the, the white knight that uh, believed in the project. He's using it to, to promote Boston around the world as a place to come to. The connection to bringing back the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum was quite a natural. Uh, it is such an iconic event in Boston history. And people who come to different cities who visit, uh, they want to experience something unique that that city has to offer. No one can offer the rich history that Boston has and the ability to tell that story through tr such a tremendous attraction is just so fulfilling to me and I'm just glad to be part of it. You know, when you think of great cities, you have to have great places because the great places are really what tell the visitors the story of the city. They tell the what the city believes in, where it's going. And now, with the Boston Tea Party here, there's no better way to do that. And I really think that together, we've really created a great place. As historians, we're very fulfilled. We know what people are going to get in the way of a product uh, of an experience for their children, for themselves. This is a very significant, probably the most significant slice of American history leading up to the American Revolution. I'm confident that we're going to deliver on our promise to deliver an experience, an educational experience, a fun experience that will delight young and old. And here's the baby. Tomorrow morning we open up to the world to experience the single most important event that led to the American Revolution and we're, we're proud to play a part of it.